Go ahead, find yourself back up at the top. Coming back into that runner's lunge. And then when you're ready, inhale, proud chest. Exhale, step that back foot forward, fold. Reset your spine, reset your hips a little bit. All right, so for those of you who didn't know, um, I actually film a weekly hit based uh, class for our Snoga members. Um, this is changes all over the board. So I do mobility work. I will do hit based high intensity strength training. Uh, today we're actually doing a very beginner based plyometric, uh, just to get people used to it uh, and build up into that. Um, I've done just a bunch of stuff, how to Olympic lift, just a bunch of crazy different stuff, uh, because it's fun. I love it. And I get to show you kind of my passion and also help you on and off the mountain. So Anyways, this is my setup, so I'm just kind of getting it prepped. You can't see that there, but that's my workout. And sometimes there will be a timer, other times not so much. Today there is not a timer uh, because it's more based on repetitions. Um, but I'll always take someone through a dynamic warm-up, uh, things like that. So I need to do this first. This will take about, usually they're always less than 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And then I will jump into my shred workout. Did yoga this morning already. Today is pretty intense, but we're going to get it done. So today uh, I was feeling, or Sarah and I were both feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, I think we caught a bug, something from the long-term travel and really felt it today. I haven't really been sleeping that long. Uh, you can hear my nose congestion. So I wasn't able to get a uh, shred workout in, but I am going to soccer here in a little bit, indoor soccer, which may or may not be a good idea, mm -hmm. but uh, it's definitely my like... MDSA, agility, aerobic. Uh, so I'm getting some workout in. I'm also uh, helping teach yoga, so I'm getting some movement in there as well. But I just wanted to keep keep you all updated um, that, and just let you know it, it, it's okay to skip certain days. Like like I said earlier, um, anyone that follows this to a T is a wizard uh, because you know life is real and things happen, and I'm I'm feeling a little under the weather, and that's okay. So tomorrow I will continue um, the shred program with the workout. Uh, tonight I'm gonna go for um, a lot of sprinting and running and I will also do yoga tomorrow morning and we'll just get back on, uh, back on the horse. So that's the plan. <laughs> what do you think, dude? I'm just trying to chew up my toy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today is workout number two, week two. I have my high intensity, low volume day, so uh, a little bit just like it sounds. A little bit higher intensity, a little bit heavier weight, but slightly lower volume in an eccentric manner. So still incredibly challenging. Uh, I don't think I told you before, but uh, I was so sore. Uh, I think two days, 48 hours is peak for DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness. Uh, and so today I was just feeling like feeling good, but sore. It's been a while since I felt like that uh, because we're moving in different ways and it feels awesome. So. Uh, today is going to be just as, if not more, intensive, uh, but I'm looking forward to it, so here we go. Sometimes I will jump on this just to mess around, like if I want to watch TV or if I'm just goofing off. But there are times where I will start or end my workouts uh, just to get the coordination, frontal cortex firing, um, really that muscle mind connection, where my joints are in space. But if I want to make it harder, I just kind of mess around. So like, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, I, it will change. Maybe I'll throw a couple balls against the uh, back, uh, juggle, um, or I'll just bounce. 
Uh, but it's all about that multitasking coordination. If I wanted to get crazy, which I don't do very often, I could get into a isometric squat. But really, again, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of messing around, really just getting that multitasking, uh, being comfortable, being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Uh, because in snowboarding, skiing, any type of extreme sport, see, there is that degree of multitasking that you can't get around. Uh, and it could have been potentially save your life. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Whoa.